Today we will be spinning a wheel and that will decide which weapons and armor we will use against the Terraria boss. The first boss is obviously King Slime. And here's our weapons we got. We got the Blowpipe. We got the Gladius. We got the Lightning Zapper. I have no idea if that's actually its name. I haven't used that weapon that often. We got the Leather Whip. We got the Terra Grim. We got some garbage paper airplanes. We got the Ice Blade and we got Abigail's Flower. Now obviously there's some heat on here. There's some really good weapons that would just make fighting King Slime a breeze. And obviously there's some harder weapons on here. If we get paper airplanes, even the Gladius. You know how short the range of the Gladius is? That's going to be a little tough. But let us go ahead and spin here. Come on, give me something good. Obviously, I'm hoping for a projectile type weapon. Shoot, even a summon would be pretty good. I could play far back with a summon. And they're going to give me the worst one on the list potentially. Okay. <laughs> We'll make it work, I guess. All right, we got the armor sets here. There's some nice ones. There's some okay ones. It's armor. We're just finding the king slime. I don't need too much. Uh, obviously, the doo doo brown tin armor, I, I don't want. So please do not give me that. Give me something nice that I could work with. Maybe a range set. Okay. So we're trying to give me every single bad thing there is on the list. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's hop into the game here and let's fight the King Slime with tin armor and paper. All right, we're in the world here. I got my paper airplanes, my tin. I got healing potions, iron skin swiftness. Let's get it. I hope I can do this. I am playing on a T mod 1.4 so I can have Omni Swing. Bro, do these things actually do like two damage a hit? <laughs> Oh my gosh. See, I'm glad that I, uh, you know, hopped on the Omni Swing because uh, we're definitely going to need it. I have no way to get up here if I fall down. So I got to be extremely careful. All right, let me try the regular paper airplane. I don't know why there's a white one and then there's like the the really like yellowish white paper airplane. <laughs> they got the pure white and they got the dirty white. I don't know what the difference is here. Wait for the jump and then we drop down. I gotta be really careful how I fight this dude. I have a feeling this is literally gonna take forever since we did not get a ranged armor set. I'm not happy about this, I'll be honest. And look at these paper airplanes, bro. What is this? <laughs> Why do they attack like this? Y'all ever throw paper planes until it's nighttime? I do it all the time. <laughs> this is the type of task that could drive a man insane. I did start at like the middle of the day though, so it's not that bad. Okay, I'm low key dying. Let's calm down a little bit now. I don't want to die. I've come too far. Uh oh, I've fallen off my arena. <laughs> that is uh, it's not a good thing. Wait, I actually can get back on the arena. Let's go. Didn't even know that. I am still dying, though. Okay, calm down. I definitely chose to make this as scary as possible. I was like, hey, let's give ourselves no health. Let's jump off of our arena. <laughs> and let's let's pretty much damn near die after throwing airplanes for a solid eight minutes all right let's fight the next boss hopefully we get some decent gear all right obviously the eye of cthulhu's next here and as you can see we got some better weapons on here you know we got some usual suspects that you can get around the eye of cthulhu time and then we got some unique ones you never see that wrench obviously you got to get the mechanic but i still wanted to throw a boomerang in here and the wrench definitely is a weapon i've never used and then we got the gray zappinator as that one weapon that would be insane to get just like the terror grim in the last wheel let's spin give me something good honestly these are all decent weapons weapons i didn't put anything too terrible this time i should have put something terrible I, I think i it would make sense oh as you can see you know my luck is turning around baby let's go ahead let's see what armor we get all right we got some armor sets here obviously some ones i would benefit from and obviously some ones that would be like average the worst one on here is probably the pearlwood set maybe even the cactus set just because you know it's a, it's literally like a set you can get a couple seconds into the game at least the pearlwood set is technically a hard mode armor let's see i'm hoping for jungle armor give me something easy after the hell i just went through oh they almost gave me the jungle armor i don't know actually this armor might work right because it's a crit armor set and not a ranged armor set i think i still don't have my 1.4 knowledge set but yeah let's go ahead let's hop into the game and let's see all right let's get to it before enemies start spawning i didn't give myself any potions this time i don't think i need any potions at all like come on 
I got the god tier weapon. The only thing I'm worried about is uh, the loss of mana. As you can see, I'm low key running out of mana. I don't think I've ever used the gray Zapinator before, or any Zapinator, period. You know, you do need a decent bit of RNG to get like any Zapinator. And also, the traveling merchant, at least in my case, may be racist because he never gives me anything. He doesn't fuck with the mushroom. I don't, I don't know, man. I gotta talk to Relogic about that. Because that dude be selling me dog shit 24-7. Yeah, the Zapinator, it's got a lot of random effects it can do. It can hit really hard. Like, it's definitely a unique weapon. You can do a whole playthrough with just this weapon. Like, I would have no problem doing that. You see how, like, some of the bullets freeze in place? And then, like, I literally hit him for, like, 300 a second ago. And you see the projectile shooting everywhere? It's a really unique weapon. I like it. I like that there's a chance that you can get this fairly early in the game. Uh, all up to RNG, though. Let's get him to run into this shot. Oh, it disappeared as soon as I was trying, as soon as I was trying to get him to get hit by it. Come on, man. What are the odds of that? All right. Hold up. Stand still for a little bit. Let our mana regen. Hold up. How to let the mana regen so we can finish this off. Boom. I said boom. There we go. All right, nice and easy. I needed an easy one after the last one. All right, we have the Brandon Cthulhu next. That's what the world I generated had instead of the eater. Let's spin the wheel, as you can see. Nothing too bad. The worst thing on here I put on put is the snowball, and I didn't put like an extremely OP weapon on here. I tried to either have like a really bad weapon or a really OP one. This one I kept it pretty balanced. Unless we get the snowball. The snowball isn't the worst, but like, come on. You already gave me the paper air. Planes, please don't give me the snowball. They're trying, they really try to do it to me. All right, Sapphire Staff, nice. Honestly, by the time I fight the brain, I could find myself having a diamond staff, maybe even an amber one. But I put Sapphire just because, I don't know, I rarely use Sapphire Staffs. I barely use Staffs in general, honestly. Let's see what armor we get. All right, armors are pretty much the same as the last one. The couple of items are armor switched here and there. So let's go ahead, let's see what we get. I'm hoping something that benefits me, obviously. Please. Okay, it would have been nice having that, you know, mage armor set with the meteor one, but I guess it's raining out in the crimson today. Let's get it. Got my raincoat armor on. I gave myself a little tin greaves because there's no pants. At least I didn't think there was. And let's pop the bloody spine. Let's get it. I gave myself an iron skin, a little speed buff. I usually don't fight the brain of Cthulhu on the uh, surface. I usually fight him underground. Obviously, it's easier to pop the uh, hearts and stuff. And then just take it on like that. All right, let's get it. Uh, I totally forgot that these stabs do not pierce. Uh, I thought they did. This is a little scary now that I think about it. I'm about to run out of mana, bro. I got to choose my shots carefully here. Not really. I just got to literally run around until my mana comes back. Wait, use a grappling hook. I do have a little grappling hook. Oh, I actually got hit. Oh, let's calm down now. I can't be getting hit multiple times. Let's not repeat the King Slime fight. I don't want to make this fight close for no reason. Now, don't worry. It'll really get started once I kill one of them. Once I kill one of them, that's when the fight will get started. All right, because then that one will drop mana. And then from there, I can use that mana, shoot, kill another one, drop mana, rinse and repeat. Here's the only problem. I just got to kill the first one. And that's seeming to take a, a, a good bit here. All right, let's get it. I'm ready. I'm full with mana. Let's let the shots fly and hopefully somebody drops some mana for me. Please. I killed one of them. I might have to pop a potion here. I'm taking some damage, bro. It's all good. We got the mana starting to refill now. Exactly what I wanted. I just can't take any more damage. Please don't take any more damage. Don't spawn on me. This is just like the eater fight. You know, once you start breaking the segments, the fight really picks up. And we are finally starting to kill a good bit of the eyeballs here. Oh, I get, that was a good teleport. I'll give him that. He really caught me. He really caught me with the uh, the creepers. Another good teleport got behind me. You know, made the creepers have a direct path. A godly teleport. Oh, my God. Literally teleported on top of me. That does not happen too often. Hopefully, these last couple of eyes drop some mana for me. Uh, just so, you know, I have a little extra stars to pick up here before we get into the real fight, baby. Here we go. All right. Real fight begins. Uh, thank God we're not an expert. We are playing on normal. So I got a little bit of a safety cushion behind me. Maybe in the future we do this challenge on harder difficulties. Shoot for the worthy. Forget expert in uh, master mode. We go straight to for the worthy. I might have to have some decent weapons on that wheel, though. I might have the gray zapinator on the wheel every time. My biggest fear here is running out of mana, honestly. 
since he does take a little knockback, uh, I can shield myself and push him away. I just got to be ready. Oh, see, look, he caught me off guard. I wasn't ready there. This time I'm ready. Okay, I thought I was. I thought I was ready. We are slowly running out of mana. Not good. No, no. I could 100% lose this fight. I don't have mana. I can't defend myself. Oh, my God. He clipped me right there. It's over. Oh my god, the Brain of Cthulhu is the greatest boss in Terraria. You know, I think having actual armor would have helped there. Maybe even having some mana so I could actually attack. Alright, we took a L right there. You know, there's nothing I could do about it. He beat my ass fair and square. Good job, Brain. On to the next boss. Alright, Queen B. Let's see what we get. We got some troll stuff on here. We got some decent stuff on here. Nothing too OP. Let's see what we get. Honestly, let's create some content. Give me the snowball cannon. I was just kidding, by the way no i was just kidding bro i don't think i've ever used this before in terraria all right you might be looking at this and be like hey is there a hard mode armor on here exactly yes there is whatever spin the wheel if i land on the angler armor i'm gonna be insane okay the angler armor is completely on the other side we don't gotta worry we got the necro armor i don't think armor is really gonna help out at all uh no idea if it even affects the snowball cannon let's see i hope you guys like my arena it should help out a little bit let's see give me one snowball go ahead break that there we go let's buff up and let's enter hell <laughs> i can get some decent hits when she's doing her charge attack actually that's not too bad wow the damage honestly not the worst so far i'm liking it actually these snowball cannons kind of nice so look get up here get those shots going in i did notice that i left god mode on it's all good here i'll take a couple hits to, to penalize it i don't want to actually get hit by her though all right let's keep it going oh i almost got hit by her the dash is literally the perfect time to blast her with snowballs this is not too bad the thing is if you do get like a snowball cannon in the uh, actual playthrough you're not gonna have like a bunch of them to set up like this like this literally is not a weapon you can use in a playthrough you get one of them and you gotta hope and pray why, why would you even be using this in a playthrough <laughs> i'm acting like this is a weapon you're trying to find like it's a snowball like actual snowball cannon or whatever it's called snowball gun oh god i jumped into her take advantage of the dash look how many hits we can get this is doable this is more than doable i will complete this she is not the brain of cthulhu the brain of cthulhu had me checkmated at every opportunity possible but i have the queen bee checkmated here i just need her to do more dashing please or just yeah come on to my level like that that helps out a little bit the snowball launcher that's what this is called right technically low-key it is a cannon uh but yeah the snowball launcher actually eats through snowballs pretty quickly as you can see we're already at 600 like goddamn we use like 200 300 already wow we're not taking that much damage from here this is this is beautiful because we got actual armor set or we got in the actual armor set instead of having raincoat armor which is not even an armor i don't know why they have it categorized as armor they be having some cool ass complete vanities that aren't armor and then they got a raincoat armor set like what it doesn't even get a set bonus so why the hell does it even give you defense i don't know they just look at some of the vanities in terraria like they, they should have made some of those armor i wish there was a way to aim is there a way to aim these maybe you could like click on it with something i don't know the way you can aim like actual the pirate cannons would be nice so maybe there's a way and i just have no idea this gotta be like you know top five terraria quote-unquote weapons that i don't touch like why would i uh, i'm gonna have to start playing around with it though if it's doing damage like this snowball launcher playthrough coming soon okay another dash let's get to the far cannon and we missed every single shot on that that's beautiful we're getting close to beating her i was thinking about fighting her on the surface thank god i didn't because obviously she, she moves a little bit faster on the jungle surface and then if i fought her outside of the jungle she literally enrages goes fast as hell but i don't know maybe that wouldn't be that bad of a thing maybe she dashes more when she's enraged you know the dashing really is the way i get my damage off oh speak about the dashing let's end it oh my god i can't believe i got my ass beat by the brain of cthulhu when i had a decent weapon okay the armor was still sucked but i just beat the queen bee with a damn snowball launcher <laughs>
what is this all right i'm gonna end this video off here obviously there's a lot more bosses we can fight but you guys let me know you guys like this video you like this idea this is fun i like it a lot we could even do it with modded stuff in the future let's go ahead let's get a like goal 2000 likes and i'll go ahead and drop a sequel to this video that should be easy for us 2000 we can get a thousand now i don't even gotta ask let's get 2000 on this video make sure y'all subscribe to the channel make sure y'all sub to the second channel if you miss any live streams and obviously make sure to follow the twitch to see the live streams live follow the tiktok to see funny little clips highlighted on there same thing with the instagram the instagram and tiktok pretty much the same i guess follow my twitter if you want to see me tweet dumb shit but yeah thank you everyone for watching i'll see y'all next time